Hello students, welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we will see class 10th expected questions, English subject. This is part 3. So, let's start this video. Question number 1, choose the correct alternatives. First one is the reason given by banking shop for being absent in the previous class was Option A, grandmother's death. Option B, problem of teeth. Option C, etching hands. Option D, unironed shirt so correct option is option c aching hands now question number two question number two is need special tube to breathe in the poem including all my friends means they have problems with their option a excretory organs option b digestive system option c circulatory system option d respiratory organs so correct answer is option d respiratory organ now come to question third Question third is, they were having different skin, eyes and hair but were similar in dash in the poem including all my friends. Option A, being a human being. Option B, having disabilities. Option C, speaking same language. Option D, having same color. So, correct option is, option A, being a human being. Now, come to question number four. Question number four is, the poet's kind request to all in the poem about me is to Option A, given him at least one prize. Option B, clap on his success. Option C, treat him as a human. Option D, give him a fancy name. So, correct option is option C, treat him as a human. Now, come to question number 5. Who had turned the land to dust in the poem Sumba's Adventure? Option A, the people. Option B, wild animals. Option C, goblins. Option D, Sumba. So, correct answer is option number C, the goblins. Here the correct answers are written. Here are the correct answers. So you can see from here also if you missed any of the answers. So let's let's go to next answer. Question answer. Next one is fill in the blanks with the suitable word. <laughs> Given in the bracket. First one is he is dash Indian. A, N or the correct option will be N. He is an Indian. Second, he hasn't got dash rest after a long journey so here options are given some any much he hasn't got dash rest so here what will come any rest now come to question number three. Third one is there is dash water in the bottle few a few little so correct answer is little now come to fourth i have been working here dash 20 years if when while so correct option option is here options are not written correct here option will be since or for so according to that here for will come okay now come to next question fifth one you can go dash you like if when while so correct option will be if so here you can see fourth answer is for here okay so in that um, options are wrong so you can do the correction now come to question number c match the column a with column b so here is column a here is column b let me adjust this one so here first one she was so tired and uh, i waited for men my friend work hard this is a stadium if it rains so that you may pass whether match will be played that she could not run we shall stay at home till he arrived so according to the sentence we have to match she was so tired so this will match with the C that she could not run. Second, I waited for my friend. This will match to E till uh, he arrived. Third, work hard. This will match to A so that you may pass. Fourth, this is the stadium. This will match to B where match will be played. Fifth, if it rains, this will match to D. We shall stay at home. So, here answers are written that which option will match to which option. Now, come to next question. Question number 2 to 6 are based on the following passage. Read the following passage carefully and answer the questions given below. The Himalayas are beautiful mountains in the north of India. They stretch 2000 miles from Kashmir to Assam. Some of world's highest peaks are in the Himalayas. The highest peak is Mount Everest. The top of the mountains are covered with snow. 
throughout the year therefore we call them the himalayas of the abdop of snow there are many beautiful lakes and forests in the himalayas many passes connect india with tibet turkestan and afghanistan many rivers like the ganga the yumna the brahmaputra and the vyas flow from these mountains now questions will be question number 2 choose the correct option first one is the highest peak is a our mount everest b himalaya c aravalli so correct option is option a mount everest we have read in the passage also second the meaning of himalaya is a covered with snow b abodes of ice c abodes of snow so this one correct option is option c abodes of snow now come to question third question number 3 give antonyms of the given words from the passage so here the word is lowest its antonym is highest second word is bottom its antonym is top question number 4 question number 4 name the rivers which flow from the himalayas so answer is the rivers which flow from the himalaya are the ganga the yamuna the brahmaputra the vyas question number 3 give antonyms of the given words from the passage a now question number 5 they are the mountain why are the mountains called himalayas answer the top of the mountain are covered with snow throughout the year therefore we call it the himalayas question number 6 what connects india with tibet afghanistan etc many passes answer is many passes connect india passes connect india with tibet afghanistan this is the answer now next answer the following questions following questions question number 7 to 10 in the two or three sentences each question number 7 why is the national anthem not played in the cinema hall these days answer the national anthem is not played in the cinema halls these days because later it was found that the people used to leave the hall midway laughing shouting and creating a racket question number 8 why was kailash satyarthi awarded the nobel prize for peace answer kailash satyarthi was awarded the nobel prize for peace because he had devoted his life for the upliftment of millions of children in the world who are deprived of their childhood and health and education and fundamental right to freedom Question number 9 why does Louis like to be his regular classes answer Louis like to be in regular classes because he want to learn he wants to sit in the class with other students he want to learn with the teacher question number 10 what does one learn by traveling around the world according to the Ibn Battuta answer according to ibn patuta one can see wonderful towns and cities meet interesting people and do exciting things but his her bad time he had he or she can get ill meet big hungry animals and lose his her money now question number 11 write a paragraph on importance of health on the basis of given hints option a health is a great blessing option b a sick man is burden to society option c money cannot buy health option d diet exercise and hygiene ensure good health option e importance of morning walk so answer is as we all know about the popular common saying that health is wealth it is true as our life good health is great blessing to mankind good health keeps as always happy and gives us feeling of complete physical mental social and intellectual well being we spend our life to earn money without caring for health then we lose the earned money to recover the lost health the loss of good health causes loss of all the happiness a sick man is always burden to society a sick man of a family affects all the members of the family once health is lost cannot be regained how much money we have we cannot buy health once lost to maintain to maintain good health we should take proper diet and do some light exercise doctors say that walking is the best exercise morning walk feels uh 
fills our body with a lot of oxygen and refreshes our minds as well or write with the help of the words given below a short note on importance of developing reading habit this is another question first option is <clears throat> field of knowledge expanding fast second reading at a school limited to subject offered third extra reading necessary for rounded personality fourth creation of generation gap then fifth continuous reading then uh, necessary to keep updated reading makes a full man now we will see answer and the modern era has changed many old habits that were immensely fruitful nowadays the field of knowledge is expanding fast but the habit of reading has reduced considerably reading has become limited to the subject offered at school but that is not enough but extra reading is necessary for all around personal personality lack of reading has also widened the generation gap this is the time to keep the knowledge up to date and this is possibly only possible only by continuous reading it is well said that reading makes a full man now next question next question is question number 12 read the following poem carefully and answer the following question for the poem is the for frost to perform perform sets a secret ministry up here unhelped by any wind the oldest cry came loud and hark again loud as before the <coughs> inmates of my cottage all that rest have left me to that solitude which suits abstruse musing save that at my side my cradle infant slumbers peacefully tis calm indeed so calm that it disturbs and vexes meditation with its strange and extreme silentness now question first question is who is sleeping in the cradle a the poet's son b the poet's child c his nephew d a stranger baby so answer is a the poet's son question 2 what disturbs the calm option a the surroundings option b nature option c weather option d calmness so here the correct answer is option d calmness now come question number 3 the word meditation means option a prayer option b option b thought option c deep thought option d the deep idea so correct option is deep thought now come to question 4 Question four is what is the secret ministry of the forest? So here is the answer. The secret ministry of the forest is that it is falling on the ground. Question five, where is the silence all around? Question five is where is the silence all around? Answer is the silence all around seen all at rest. Now come to question thirteen. Question thirteen, you are Rajat Mishra, a student of class tenth A in S S. kalibadi high secondary school raipur your father has been transferred to jagdalpur you have to go with him there so write an application to the principal of your school requesting him to issue your transfer certificate and character certificate so answer is to the principal ss kalibadi high secondary school raipur subject an application for the transfer certificate and character certificate sir respectfully i beg to say that i am a student of class 10th a my father has been transferred to jagdalpur my father is shifting his family from raipur to jagdalpur so i shall go with him and continue my education there kindly issue me transfer certificate and character certificate thanks yours obediently rajat mishra class 10th a and date you will write here another the another question is given in option or you are sushila jain living at teachers colony ambikapur cg your friend deepa sahu who lives in railway colony durg has passed her high school board examination in first division scoring 83% marks write a letter congratulating her answer is teachers colony ambikapur 26 feb 2022 
my dear deepa a very heartiest congratulations i am very very happy to know that you have passed your high school examination in first division scoring 83% i heartily congratulate you for your grand success in the board examination please continue your good efforts may you get success in every walk of life yours loving sushila question number 14 write an essay on any one of the following topics first is value of games and sports second is environmental pollution third is my hobby fourth is science is it's a boon or curse fifth corona a pandemic see before starting this essays i just want to tell you that aaj jo hai board exams mein hindi ka exam tha aur usme jo hai ye essay definitely aaya hua tha दैट कोरोना जो है एक महामारी हिंदी में ये ऐसा आया था तो इंग्लिश में भी कोरोना या पैंडेमिक जरूर जरूर आएगा तो आप इंग्लिश में जो ऐसे की प्रिपरेशन है उसमें कोरोना या पैंडेमिक वाला ऐसे बहुत अच्छे से तैयार करके जाइएगा ठीक है तो चलिए ऐसे स्टार्ट करते हैं सो फर्स्ट वन इज गिवन एयर वंडर्स ऑफ साइंस ऐसे सो और साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एस से ऑल्सो दिस इज नोन एस फर्स्ट यू हैव टू राइट हेडिंग इंट्रोडक्शन इट इज द एज ऑफ साइंस एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ अवर डेली लाइफ इज गवर्न बाय साइंस फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टिल इवनिंग वॉट एवर वी यूज दो थिंग्स आर द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ साइंस साइंस इट सेल्फ इज अ ब्लेसिंग टू अर्स वी कैन नॉट लिव विदाउट इट फुलफिलमेंट फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ अवर नीड्स वी हैव स्ट्राइविंग फॉर फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ अवर ऑफ ह्यूमन नीड्स science discovered and invented so many things to useful to fulfill our needs the things that are like toothpaste beauty soap cakes fine dresses tasteful edible sleeping coach musical instruments pens books etc are the things to meet our needs this fulfillment has made us happy next machine science has developed its power in all directions man's movement from one place to another is made possibly by machines like bush buses trains and aircrafts beside these vehicles industrial machine have been made with the help of science we can move to any part of the world by means of communication big industries have been set up to produce different things electricity electricity is a great wonder it has lighted our house and streets all these machines are run by electricity if there is no electricity nothing can be done it runs trains industrial machines by virtue of science we have coolers fans and all stores of uh, so, sorts of domestic machines these things serve us in our daily life and make us happy medical aid the difficult and the incurable diseases have been successfully treated science has made it easy to find out the root cause of diseases by different machines like x-ray machine electro cardiograph and the machine for sonography etc are great wonders of science approaches to successful medicines are also the blessings of science it is a service to human beings now next is means of refraction it is a great wonder that we can enjoy games sports dances and other cultural activities going on in any part of the world television <coughs> gives us real picture of the activities even feature films can be seen on tv radio fax and telephone are the great wonders of science wireless also a great wonder of science we can talk to any person of the world conclusion victory of science over darkness ignorance illiteracy disappointment and tiredness has been announced science is thus a good servant to serve human beings it has made our lives full of comfort and pleasure now next topic is given importance of games and sport 
or advantages of games and sports for us introduction these are some things which play important part in men's life games and sports are two of them everybody does some work and he wants recreation after that games and sports are main sources of recreation next heading is some games and sports cricket football hockey volleyball kabaddi kho kho are some games horse riding swimming hunting etc are sports olympics assets and national are some famous games and sports competitions olympics are the international level games and sports assets are played among asian countries physical manage advantage one cannot develop one's mind and body without games and sports all his life gandhi ji regretted that he did not take part in games and sports all work and no play makes jack a dull boy another saying a sound boy was a sound mind they make our muscles strong neglecting them we cannot keep our body alert freshness digestion and energy depend upon our food good health exercise is necessary for health and we have that in playing games moral advantage there are many advantages of games and sports they teach us lessons of discipline and cooperation they make us just true honest and hard working sportsmen are always loyal and obedient patience confidence and courage are found in sportsman he learns to be punctual and regular source of unity unity is always seen in games and sports games and sports not only unite the whole country but also unite the whole world the players of the one country go to play to another country they stay there for 3 or 4 months the friendly terms are developed between two countries conclusion games and sports not only make our body strong but also enrich our character they are the source of world unity our government should give them due preference next topic is environmental pollution or problem of pollution it is said that man is the child of his environment from our environment we get things without which it may not be possible to live today pollution has become a worldwide problem it is causing heavy damage to all living beings man is however polluting this environment by various acts we cut trees to make houses and roads we dispose waste matter into rivers our vehicles pollute the atmosphere with toxic gases vehicles and machines produce a lot of noise pollution is causing heavy damage to all living beings some of them are first is air pollution is causing respiratory problems like asthma water pollution is causing diseases like dysentery jaundice and many water borne diseases third noise pollution is causing the problem of mental tension and blood pressure it is a good thing that we have become aware of this problem now there is restriction of cutting trees or polluting the river farmers are asked to use pesticides rationally banning the use of explosive no problem can be solved without the active help of the common people we must leave the future generation a cleaner greener world fauna and flora is the part of is a part and parcel of our environmental life next uh, essay is given my hobby your best past time introduction man is not a machine all work and no play makes him dull so he has to take shelter to some hobby or the other hobby is a pleasant past time it washes away the monotony and gives fresh energy it is the best use of leisure time it gives mental recreation too kinds of hobbies there are many kinds of hobbies for example singing dancing photography painting stamp collection gardening swimming etc i have taken up gardening as my hobby i have included a 
tells taste for gardening since my childhood i am very much interested in plants and flowers i have visited many beautiful gardeners situated in big cities my work i have prepared a small but beautiful garden in the boundary of my house there are many plants with beautiful flowers i am very fond of roses so i have collected 15 varieties of roses in my garden there are various other flowers too beside this there are small trees bearing fruits in a small portion of my garden i grow vegetables also i work in my garden during my leisure time daily i prepare beds of plant and water them i also do grafting and cutting of the unwanted branches i take great pleasure in this work many times i present the fruit and flowers to my friend when i pluck vegetables for my mother's kitchen she is very much pleased conclusion my hobby is not expensive i do not spend much on it other hobbies like photography etc are quite expensive my parents take delight in watching me working in the garden gardening is a good exercise also it keeps my body and mind fit the beautiful scenery of my small garden attracts everybody who passes by it the fragrant flowers the sweet fruits and the tasty vegetables of my garden are valuable wealth to me i love my garden very much one more essay is given here corona pandemic the outbreak of new corona virus disease covid 19 COVID-19 is a pandemic it was first identified during December 2019 in Wuhan city of China it is now a new cause of huge number of deaths all around the world COVID-19 is a disease caused by the novel corona virus whose symptoms are fever dry cough breathing difficulties some patients have nasal erections and runny nose sore throats and diarrhea about 80% of confirm cases recover from the disease without any serious compli- complications however one out of every 6 people who are suffering from this can have serious complications and difficulties in breathing in most cases infections can be treated only with higher level facilities like in aims medical college and district level hospitals which have facilities of oxygen and ventilator COVID-19 mainly spread by droplets produced as a result of coughing and sneezing of infected person so avoid direct contact with the patient if we do not cover our faces from coughing and sneezing we may get infected scientists say that virus survives on surface and clothes for many days our government has been implementing different measures to protect the people from the disease corona tests are done on sim- symptomatic symptomatic patients social distancing is must to minimize the patients it is our responsibility to take care of the of ourselves and support the corona warriors in this fight against covid covid 19 hand wash is very common practice in this regard we must follow the proverb prevention is better than cure to avoid covid-19 from spreading in our question number 15 do as directed any five first one is i dash ran fast when i was young fill in the blanks with the appropriate word can or could so answer is could and this fill up could will come second question he did his work you have to change the sentence into negative so answer is he did not do his work Question number third. He cut the tree. Answer. Add the question tag. Answer is you have to convert this sentence into question tag. You have to add third. Answer is didn't he. Now come to next. Fourth one. I saw a dash helicopter. Fill in the blank with the appropriate word fly or to fly or flying. So answer is flying. Flying will come in this fill up. Fifth one. He got up early in the morning. change this sentence into present indefinite tense answer is he get up early in the morning sixth question she helps her mother in kitchen do empathetic empathetic 
work so answer is she does help her mother in kitchen next question the girls carry bag change into singular so answer is the girl carries bag next question question number 16 you are rakesh singh the secretary of your school write out notice inviting competitions from the students for the publication in school magazine answer mahatma gandhi memorial government higher secondary school raipur cg december 11th september 2022 notice school magazine original articles poems stories incidents related to great man views jokes sober and any other topic relating education knowledge and edutainment are invited from the students for the publication in the school magazine of new edition this competition should be brief inter interesting and knowledge oriented these should reach the undes undesigned latest by 30th september 2022 राकेश सिंह सेक्रेटरी एंड दिस शुड बी क्लोज इन अ बॉक्स इसको आप एक पूरे नोटिस को एक बॉक्स में बंद करेंगे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज गिवन इन ऑप्शन और राइट अ नोटिस फॉर ए स्कूल नोटिस बोर्ड इन फॉर्मिंग द स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट क्विज कॉम्पिटिशन टू बी हेल्ड ऑन नाइनटीन ऑगस्ट एट योर स्कूल आंसर गवर्नमेंट हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल खरोरा सी जी डेट टेन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू नोटिस क्विज कॉम्पिटिशन ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल स्कूल खरोरा आर इन्फॉर्म दैट अ क्विज कॉम्पिटिशन इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज ऑन नाइनटीन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी दो स्टूडेंट्स हु विश टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस कॉम्पिटिशन आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू गिव देयर नेम्स टू द अनडिजिग्नेटेड लेटेस्ट बाय थर्टी ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी रेणु का सेक्रेटरी कल्चरल क्लब दिस नोट इज ऑल्सो अगेन यू हैव टू क्लोज इन अ बॉक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 रीड द फॉलोइंग पैसेज केयरफुली एंड आंसर द गिवन क्वेश्चंस माय अंकल इब्न बतूता सेट बाय द विंडो ऑफ हिज हाउस इन टेंगेर इट वाज द हॉट टाइम ऑफ द डे एंड हिज आईज वर हाफ ओपन आई वेंट इनटू द रूम अंकल आई सेड क्वाइटली ही लुक्ड अप एट मी सडनली अहमद इट्स यू अगेन ही स्माइल्ड यस अंकल आई आंसर्ड कैन यू टेल मी टुडे अबाउट योर जर्नीज प्लीज I went to travel when I am older. Older too, he said. Is that right? He answered. Then he looked carefully at me. How old are you now? He could remember things from the day before not very well. I am eleven. I said. An extract from Adventures of Ibn Battuta. Now here are the questions from the paragraph. Who was Ibn Battuta? Question one. What uh, question one answer is written here in last? Answer Ibn Battuta lived in uh, Tangier. Second question: What did Ahmed want to do when he become older? Third question: What did Ahmed want to know from Ibn Battuta? Question four: Where did Ibn Battuta sit? So here are the answers. Second, Ibn Battuta was uncle of Ahmed. Third, Ahmed wanted to know about his journeys. Fourth, Ibn Battuta sat by the window of his house. Next, now question number five. Ibn Battuta's eyes were dashed when Ahmed entered the room. Here, A, fully open; B, half open; C, fully closed; D, none of the above. So here, the correct answer is option number B, half open. Sixth, what did Ahmed want to do when he become older? Here, A, to play; B, to sing; C, to travel; D, to dance. So, answer is option C, to travel. Seventh question: Ahmed was dash year old. So, here A, ten; B, twelve; C, eleven; D, eight. Correct option is C, eleven. Question number eight. Find out the antonyms of the word cool from the passage. Option A, hot. Option B, chilled. Option C, cold. Option D, none of these. So our correct answer is option A, hot. In this way, this video is finishing up. If you wish to see more videos like this, then click on the subscribe button 
and also if you like this video then click on the like button and also don't forget to write your comments that how you how is this video and how you wish that new video should be new video kaise hone chahiye aur aapko kis topic pe video chahiye ye sabhi ka aap jo hai comments karke bata sakte hain thank you for watching the video see you in the next video and all the best for your exams